Welcome back, everybody. It is a time to get a taste of Italy without even leaving Tennessee or spending more than $25. <laughs> we will take it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Billy Joyce, she is here with uh, Through the uh, Vines. We're so excited to have you here. Why? Why Italian wines? Well, Italy is one of the oldest wine producing regions in the world, so they've been doing it a long time. Yeah. yeah. And wine has always been paired at table with food, and so. That's right. Wine is a food, and so this is one of the best regions. Ooh, I like that. Now tell me a little bit about Through the Vines, right. because you do some amazing stuff for the community. Well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, yes. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing. This is a little cheers. white. OK. This is uh, Pecorino. Mm. OK. So I brought okay. you different, different um, mm. wine grape varieties. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So Through the Vines, mm. I'm a, a wine education and consulting company, and I focus on consumer education, even if it's through consulting through a, a restaurant, it's always so that the consumer gets the best that they can get. Mm. Speaking of that, we've got video up of you at some of your classes that you oh, teach. It looks yes. so fun. It does look fun. <laughs> I love it. Well, and you said that you have a love affair with Italy, and I love that you don't have to go there. You can be right here in Middle Tennessee and get the full experience. Well, almost the full experience. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely the really. wine experience. <laughs> well, fun fact, I met Billy when I was at one of her classes, which was extraordinary, and it was one of my first dates with Daniel. And how was boyfriend. it? It went well. We're still together, so it <laughs> must be a good thing. It, it, must have been, it must have been the wine. It yeah, must have been the wine. Probably. Right. Right. Um, okay, so we tried this white pecorino. Right. And now let's move on to what is this one? Mm. Our next our next try. I love that they're all under $25. I'm so, looking at this. It's, what, $17.99? Right. I left the price tag. on. love a good deal. I also work part-time at Grand Cru Nashville Wine and Spirits. i got to give oh. them a shout-out just right. because shout if anybody out. ever wants to come and say hello... That's where I am. That's the place where she is. And this looks orangey. Is that so normal? This, this is actually very pale. So this is Brichetto and mm. Barbera. This Ooh. is a Kermit Lynch wine import, which is awesome. Okay. Mm. And it is a light wine made to be chilled. It's a very yeah. great mm. fruit, very easy drinking, mm. and a great in Sweet. a great wine with turkey. And you yeah. said fruity. chilled yes. red wine? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you chill red wine. Or sometimes maybe you do. Yes. yes. That's how you're supposed to do it. We just I'm finished sorry. the glass. <laughs> I have to drive and I have to go. No, and I have you're to go amazing. to work. Good decisions around here. So, so you can chill red wine. Yes, there are certain wines, certain reds that don't have, they have less tannin, so they're not super dry, right. really fresh fruit. And so when you chill them, it brings up the fruit. Now explain the tannins for people who might not know I don't what that know. Is. I hear it. Ta are you hearing Tannin it is time, that but... astringent feeling mm. in your mouth. It comes from the grape skin, the grape seed. And when it sits, when it ferments, and it also can come from oak barrels. So these see no oak. Do you, is high tannin good? Low tannin good? It's, it's neither good nor bad. Mm -hmm. It just is structure in a wine. Oh, it adds okay. structure in a wine, and it makes it your mouth much more pucker. Oh, like oh, pucker a lot oh, more. That's oh, the the dry the the dry dryness. feeling that you feel oh. in your mouth. It's reacting okay. to the mucus. Oh, your mouth. okay. All Look right. at all this now science move that we're learning. On, so this one's twenty two oh, ninety nine. Actually, wait, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm whoa, going whoa. to do this because okay. I've decanted this one. Oh. So this is Alianico, mm. um, and specifically Alianico de Vuture, mm. and this is something that would be a great alternative for Cabernet. Oh, okay. that's my I'm so a cab. So <laughs> this has this has a little bit more tannin to it. This is quite elegant. Why but would you is, put wine in a decanter? Because the tannin, mm -hmm. speaking of tannin, it softens the tannin. It also lets oxygen come in contact with all those aroma mm -hmm. compounds mm -hmm. that are in there mm. and open it up and release mm. it. Because you don't, actually, you don't actually taste blueberries and cherries and everything else. You smell them. And so that's why it's important to do uh, this. Mm -mm. Get your nose in the glass. I feel like I so that you can so you can mm. enjoy the wine more. This, right. this one's good. It's a little on the dry side, but it's that's really right. good. It's the tannins. It is. Uh -huh. it's the tannins. Now we know what it is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Billy. You're you so are lovely. Thank so you. informational, yeah. and your classes are so much fun. And you get to make friends too. And they're great and for drink date nights. Wine. <laughs> yes. And drink wine. Yes. And drink wine. Well done. <laughs> for more information on Through the Vines, check out throughthevines.com. And if you sign up for Billy's newsletter, you'll get some first dibs on holiday sales and coupon codes. So Ooh. certainly worth it for oh, sure. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. Thank, Thank you so much you. for having me.